I have a variety of ways that I can edit my text. Um, if you click on text, multi-line text comes up as blocks. So th this can be moved or manipulated as a group of text. Uh, I can use any of my shortcut tools like move, erase, or copy, or scale. So in this case, if I wanted to move this text, pick a base point, and the text can be moved. So I can use any of my same grip. Uh, for single line text, it can be used the same way. Just by clicking on its single grip, I can move it, rotate it, and use any of my other grip editing shortcut tools. To edit single line text, I can click double click on the text itself and my in place text editor opens. I can edit the text just by clicking and using my keyboard. I can highlight the text and right click and I have options on my shortcut menu, for example changing from uppercase to lowercase. And when I'm finished, I hit enter two times to end my inline text editing. When I double click on single line text, you'll notice that it launches my DD edit command. This is what I use for editing single line text, but DD edit will also work for multi line text or even dimension text. For editing multi line text, I can double click to start my my MT edit command for editing multi-line text and you'll notice that up on the ribbon panel um, my editing tools for working with multi-line text are open. Uh, I can edit it the same way, make the changes. To end editing I have to use the close text edit at the end of the ribbon panel. I can also edit my text by clicking on the text so that its grip shows up, right clicking and choosing the properties palette. On the properties palette under text, I can see what its current style is, its justification, its height, and I can change it in these boxes. Now the changes that I make to the properties of this specific piece of text are going to be unique to that piece of text and not apply to all text in the drawing. So if I were to change this height, for example, to 0.125, I'm overriding my text style and I'm changing just that particular piece of text in my drawing. You can also use uh, the text editor functions in my properties for multi-line text. Here we're looking at the text. It shows me the contents and it shows me the same properties. Here, if I wanted to edit the actual text, I see this little button and that actually opens up my text editor for editing the specific contents of this uh, text box. To check the spelling of my text in my drawing, I can go to my text palette and use the flyout. Under this I have check spelling and I can choose where to check uh, current space or layout or I can check the entire drawing. When I hit start it will find uh, and I can either ignore or I can choose to change just like using my word processor uh, in order to check the spelling in my drawing. 